And welcome to the Oddity Archive. This show that, uh, I'm pretty sure is haunted. Ugh. Anyway, uh, today marks our eighth annual Christmas special. And true to archive tradition, I've got your antidote to all the saccharine, ultra-cutesy-ass drivel that gets rammed down our throats each and every freaking year. Uh, granted, my stuff is about akin to trying to swallow a dagger, but still. And much like ripping off a band-aid, it's gonna hurt a lot less in the long run if we just go for it. So, let's do it. Now, you may remember the last episode of last season, in which I spotlighted a few videotapes from Branson, Missouri, highlighted by one from Japanese-born fiddler Shoji Tabuchi. Now, I mentioned in that episode that I had built up what I believe to be his entire videography, and a pretty decent one at that, but I didn't mention that two of those tapes are of his Christmas show, G. But uh, guess what we're starting with today? So uh, let's kick things off with the dud of the lot. And uh, I hate calling anything Shoji related a dud, but hear me out. So this first one is from a bit earlier in his run, and it's a bit more austere and, uh, dare I say, a bit more understated than we're used to out of old Shoji. But uh, we're going to turn the clock back to 1990 for this one, and I'm not going to spend too much time with this. Uh, think of this as an appetizer for the other Shoji video. And uh, one last quick, utterly pointless point... This unmarked tape is on Fuji brand stock. In other words, Shoji Tabuchi on Fuji. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Shoji Tabuchi Christmas Show. Sung by a choir and folks Dressed up like Eskimos Well, everybody knows A turkey Soon the house will come alive With family and friends And I'd live some time along with you Before it all begins Meet me under the mistletoe Midnight Christmas Eve This lady just turned 10 years old, and she's been on Nashville now twice. 
we're very partial to her because she just happens to be our daughter. And she is definitely ready for Christmas. Would you please make welcome to the stage, Christina Tabucci. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph with your to the stage, the man you've been waiting to see, the incredible Shoji Tabuchi. I'll have a blue Christmas without you. I'll be so blue. You. Thank you. Somehow that song put me in a blue mood, though. But that did made me happy again. Hey. Uh-oh. We're in big trouble. We've lost the break. We're going on the mountain. Getting faster and faster. Oh! Shoji's other Christmas video is from 1995, and this one's a good bit more in line with what we've come to know and love and really expect out of old Shoji. And actually, he and his family are pretty well content to just straight up recycle bits from their regular everyday show, just now in a holiday context. And once again, his wife and stepdaughter frequently hijack the show, getting the bulk of the stage time. And even Santa Claus hijacks the show at one point. Let me tell you, everybody's got it in for old Shoji. I'm Shoji Tabuchi, and welcome to the Shoji Tabuchi Christmas Show. And I'm Dorothy Tabuchi, the producer of the show that you're about to see. And this lady, our daughter Christina. Merry Christmas, everyone. You know, Christmas is such a magical time of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please make welcome to the stage, the producer of our show and your MC for tonight, the lovely Dorothy Tabuchi. What is your favorite Christmas song? Christmas song, Silent Night. Silent Night. Shoji's gonna play that one for you. And sing it for you. That is what he's singing, Silent Night. Now kids, the presents that each of you receive at Christmas represents the gifts the baby Jesus received the night he was born. So the next time you open up one of your presents, think about that baby and say, Happy birthday, Jesus. I'll open this one for you. So what made it special was the baby in her arms. Hello. Want to come up here with me just a little bit? 
Anybody want to come up here and talk to me a little bit? I like that shirt. Hello, would you like to come over here? I like that red sweatshirt. That's great. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Lydia. And how old are you? Three. What do you want for Christmas? Uh, I'm a friend. David, you're my interpreter. What do you want for Christmas? I want a friend. A baby, a baby prince. A baby prince. Baby prince? Yeah. In the new old fashioned way. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please make welcome to the stage, the incredible Shoji Tamuchi. Hi there, folks. How you doing? Welcome to our Christmas show. We appreciate you came. Ah, I'd like to find out how many of, how many of you folks never seen uh, or never been to our theater. First timer. All right, no wonder you didn't think I speak English, did you, huh? <laughs> With every Christmas card I like, may your days be merry, ring a ring, hear them ring. Jay, this is your story, right? That's right, Shoji. Well, Jay. Probably they want to hear about it, or why don't you tell them? I sure will. But first, Good. guys, let's put on these hats. It must have been old Santa Claus, Santa Claus, Santa Claus. Happy ho, ho, ho to you. Happy ho, ho, ho to you. Happy ho, ho, ho to you. Happy ho, 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 Oh, oh, oh. Shoji! Shoji Kabuchi! We were making one of our practice runs. Yes. And this time of year, the reindeer need all the practice they can get. Especially that Rupert. Can I help? Well, thanks anyway. so much, Shoji, but I think I'll... What was that? Oh! oh! It looks like... Oh. It sounds like... Oh! I... Well, maybe uh, it is. It's Rupert. Would you mind meet my daughter, Christina? She is dying to see you. I would love to see Christina. Great. Again. Well, Lisa, why don't you bring Christina in, please? Hi, Santa. Oh, Christina, so nice to see you again. Look, my, how you've grown. And so pretty, too. Thank you, Santa. Just like Dad. to you, King of Rap, Mr. MC Hammerhead, Hammerhead, Mr. MC Hammerhead. Yo! 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 Yo, ho, ho! It was the night before Christmas and all through the night, not a creature was stirring, not even a... Ow. The stockings were hung from the chimney when yeah. we're pulled to St. Nicholas to me. Yeah. I said, yo! We said, yo! I 
change your game today. You are wonderful audience. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hope to see you again. Thank you. And Merry Christmas be For all intents and purposes, I only have one album to cover this year, but it was a real battle getting my hands on this one. So over the summer, I got an email from a viewer with a link to a Fleabay listing for this one, and it wasn't too expensive or anything, and I was going to pick it up anyway, but it had the whole make an offer option on it, so I put in an offer. And after some truly stupid petty negotiation, I finally uh, won the tape, and a couple weeks later I got the dreaded I can't find this item email from the seller. But with a little tenacity, I was finally able to score a copy of this album, and it's a very obscure little slice of Elvis exploitation. So obscure that, as of my making this, it is not listed on Discogs. But anyway, the album in question is A Blue Christmas, and I guess the artist's name would be Tribute to Elvis? Now, I wish I could say that I stumbled onto some great, ultra-rough knockoff, but I didn't. This thing has got some of the most dull, bloodless music I've ever heard, which I guess would make sense coming out of Nashville. But also the Elvis impersonator they got to sing on this, he bounces back and forth between trying way too hard to sound like Elvis and seemingly completely forgetting who he's supposed to be imitating. Now, also on the odd front, and this is only going to matter to people that are a little familiar, at least, with Elvis's Christmas stuff, uh, certainly if you've ever heard the first Elvis Christmas album from 1957, it's still about half rock and roll. Well, the people that made this turkey seem to be intent on the title track notwithstanding wiping that part out. Yeah, let's wipe out the part that, you know, everybody remembers.
And on we go to the star of today's episode. And like Shoji Tabuchi, such a huge star that one video just ain't gonna cut it. So I got two lined up for you here. Now, I admit, I am so not the first person to cover this one. Uh, I believe Found Footage Festival, Everything is Terrible, and Red Letter Media, at the very least, have all done this one. But I don't think anyone's ever really discussed it. And I'm not sure any of them realize that this is only half the saga. So, what I'd like to do here is devote the remainder of today's episode to not only looking at the videos, but hopefully filling you in a bit, giving you the story. But anyway, for starters, we've got the original, the cult classic, that staple of the VHS underground, Christmas with Dennis, from 1988. And uh, you might be asking yourself, well, who the hell is Dennis? And, uh, well, there he is. But uh, Dennis is one Dennis Awe, A-W-E, and he's effectively the Liberace of the organ. And like Liberace, maybe not the best musician, uh, though he certainly doesn't stink. Uh, it's more about being flamboyant and memorable. <laughs> Lovely. So the story goes that Dennis got started back in the early 60s by running a storefront out on Long Island, New York of course, selling Lowry brand organs. And I guess he was right across the street from Macy's, which, you know, nice big department store is going to have a lot of people going through it. And I guess Dennis was really good at bringing people into his store from Macy's. Uh, he would pipe music out the store and have whatever weird promotions that he could think of. And bear in mind, this was back when people were putting pianos and organs in their homes just as furniture, even if they didn't really play. But anyway, he did such good business that sometime towards the end of the decade, Lowry Corporate sat up and took notice, and they brought him on as a promotion man. And from there, Dennis cultivated the persona, and he started playing trade shows and just general concerts, and put out a few albums, none of which ever went anywhere, and so on and so forth. Now, sometime in the 80s, for whatever reason, I wasn't able to track that one down, but for some reason, Dennis went over to Technics brand organs. And I didn't even know Technics made organs prior to this episode. But uh, I guess that would explain the Technics synthesizer sitting behind Dennis on the cover there. Now, I really couldn't tell you what possessed Dennis to make this thing. It doesn't look like Technics had anything to do with it, so I think it was just a good old vanity project. And if he was shooting for anything at all with this, my guess is he wanted to do the 80s home video equivalent to the old 1953 Liberace TV Christmas special, which has been kicking around on public domain copies forever and ever. Now, uh, before I get started here, one last point... Gotta do the technical disclaimer. This is, I believe, one of the last tapes to use the stop copy method of copy protection. And at its simplest, it means that the levels are really, really weak. And so much so that even with time-based correction and really me just throwing everything I had at this sucker, the video is still kind of wobbly and the audio is truly awful, really weak, and uh, it's listed as being hi-fi on the cover. Yeah, that's a 110% lie.
Welcome and happy holidays from my home to yours. During this wonderful season, we generally remember some of the Christmases from days gone by. But in our hearts, we're always home for the holidays. <laughs> Happy holidays to you. And right back at you. What's been happening? Well, I'll tell you the truth. I'm kind of depressed. You're depressed? Why? I found out today that I'm not getting nothing for Christmas. I'm getting nothing for Christmas. Can you dig it? I can. Mommy and Daddy are mad. But they're furious. What's your favorite Christmas song? Easter Parade. Easter Parade? Could you bring the cue card closer? <laughs> Thank you. Line, please. Oh, sorry, Ralph. Uh, what's your favorite Christmas song? Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. Well, for you, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree and the Jingle Bell Rock. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> I have a special holiday treat for you. I'd like to introduce you to my sister, Diane. And she'll play for you, Little Drummer Boy. the magic in this old silk hat. snowman and my lovely sister Diane for being here tonight. 
And until we meet again, may God grant you much good health and happiness. Bye for now. Now, Dennis made more than one video. Uh, actually, he made more than one Christmas video. And that brings us to today's final video. So we're going to fast forward 19 years here, up to 2007, and now we've got Dennis's much belated and much anticipated sequel to Christmas with Dennis, no longer on VHS, but now on DVD-R, An Awesome Christmas. Bet you it took 19 years just to come up with the title. And this time around, he's got more than just his sister on hand. He's got a whole laundry list of guests that nobody's ever heard of. And he's also got surprise special guest Donna Ellie Mae Clampett Douglas. Guess it's not much of a surprise now, is it? But uh, whatever. Now, as far as Donna Douglas goes, you wouldn't expect her to actually be there in the studio with Dennis and you would be right. But you'd think maybe she recorded something at home and sent it in for this, and nope, she didn't do that either. Donna Douglas appears by way of some, probably at the time, 20-ish year old footage of her in the Ellie Mae Clampett uh, outfit reading the story of the birth of the baby Jesus to a group of seemingly random kids and, uh, that's it. It has nothing to do with anything else, and it may very well be older than the original Christmas with Dennis. But on a happier note, like all good sequels, this is even crazier than the first, and uh, dare I say I like this one even a little better than the first one. Now, uh, getting back to the story of Dennis here to finish that up, Technics stopped making organs in about 1995, 96, and somewhere down the line, Dennis went back to dealing with Lowry, and maybe it had something to do with Technics, maybe not. But regardless, Dennis stuck with Lowry till the bitter end, and uh, they closed their doors at the end of 2018. Now, these days, Dennis, who is now in his 80s, is still making the trade show circuit. He is still playing concerts, or uh, concertizing, as he calls it. And uh, he has a website now, and he hawks these flash drives, preloaded flash drives, which are full of MIDI backing tracks, which can be plugged into some of the newer, fancier organs. Uh, I guess they have USB ports in them now, so you could have accompaniment. I think Dennis has kept up more than I have. Christmas and happy holidays, everyone. My next guest is a dear friend who is multi talented. He's a wonderful organist, singer, and master voice illusionist. You are about to be mesmerized as you hear the voice of Nat King Cole has sung 
by Mr. Tom Robinson, accompanied by Mr. Bobby Speaker. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. I'll have a blue Christmas without you. I'll be so blue. Let's take a musical dream together with the Parade of the Wooden Soldiers and visit that very special place where all the toys live and play. It's that magic of all magic places, Toyland. Would you welcome the beautiful and talented Miss Donna Douglas. How would you like me to tell you a story? Yeah! Oh, okay, all right, let's go. He counted the sheep and discovered that a little lamb was missing. But God had a surprise ready. My next guest I've known all my life. She is beautiful, talented, and has traveled throughout America, Europe, and Asia concertizing. She has performed from Radio City Music Hall to Bangkok, Thailand. What is on second? I didn't ask who's on second. Who was on first? I don't know. Now that's the fellow playing third base. <laughs> well, how did we get to third base? Last week, I put out an archive thrifting video in which, assuming you, you know, actually watched it and stuck around until after the end credits, you heard just a little snippet from a CD I had found at a Goodwill during the episode from an acapella group called The Trenchcoats, and uh, they were doing their tribute to Vanilla Ice. Well, of course, that came from this album, It Turns Me On from 1992. But for your Christmas bonus this year, I want to play a bit of a Christmas tune, or more accurately, a Christmas piss take that's on here, which sits awkwardly, uncomfortably in the middle of what would be side two if this were a record or a cassette. Uh, as implied, this is otherwise a non-holiday CD. But uh, initially, I thought this was going to be a cover of the 1981 single Christmas Wrapping by The Waitresses. 
Uh, no, we wouldn't be that lucky. So what we got here is a, uh, a frankly, kind of stupid quasi-rap adaptation of Jingle Bells. Otherwise, that's it for today's archive. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and... Uh, oh, that stupid wooden Santa Claus is going to be haunting my dreams for the rest of the year, isn't he? Hey, we're ready to roll, Bill. Let's, Let's go, buddy. Up, man. We gotta get to our gig, oh, man. Come on, man. Let's Come on. Let's go. Come on. I think for a Christmas song, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Three, four. Respect. Dick. Respect. Respect. Dick. Respect. Hey. Respect. I said a jingle. A jingle. A jingle all the way. Hey. Hey. Fun. This dude in a one horse open sleigh. I said a jingle. A jingle. A jingle all the way. Whiz. Yes, you do the snow. In a one horse open sleigh. Oh, that feels like God. Well, look at all the way. Ho, 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 jingle bells, a jingle bells, a jingle all the way. Hey, hey, oh, what fun it is to ride one horse open sleigh. Boy, a jingle bells, a jingle bells, a jingle all the way. Hey, hey, oh, what fun it is to ride one horse open sleigh. Boy, fire